Good day, listeners and students. I'm Mr. Abiono Kamaldin, a mathematics tutor. The topic before me today is application of trigonometry. For the lesson objectives, students will be able to 1. Apply the principle of trig ratios to solve problems involving angles of elevation and depression. 2. Locate points or places using the three digit bearing and compass bearing methods. Before I move on, we need to understand the concept of angles of elevation and depression. And a good scenario to depict that is when we have two students in a place, one on top of a tree and the other on the ground. For them to observe each other, the one on top of the tree must look down and the one on the ground must look up. As a result, the angle of inclination of the one on the ground from its eye level up to the level of the tree is called the angle of elevation of the top of the tree from the ground and likewise the angle of declination of the one on top of a tree from its eye level down to the level of the ground is called the angle of depression of the ground from the top of the tree if you listen attentively you will observe that for the angle of elevation i used the angle of elevation of the top point from a lower point and for the angle of depression i used the angle of depression of a lower point from a top point so in the same single scenario we realize that the angle of elevation of the top of the tree from the ground is equal to the angle of depression of the ground from the top of the tree because the angles are alternate to each other and hence are equal this is what we also call z angle i have some questions to illustrate the explanation here examples one the angle of depression of a point g on the ground from the top t of a building is 23.6 degree if the distance from g to the foot of the tree is 50 meters find the height of the building solution we can see points t and g have been given t is the top of the building so just use a vertical line to depict a building and put t at the top and use a horizontal line to represent the ground and put g there so they have given us the angle of depression of g from t as 23.6 degrees from my explanation earlier it will still be the same as the angle of elevation of t from g and that is 23.6 degrees so put 50 meters for the ground there you can see we have a right angled triangle so we have tan 23.6 degree equals h over 50 
times 20.6 is 0.4369. So H equals 50 times 0.4369. And H equals 21.845 meters. So approximately H equals 21.85 meters. Therefore, the height of the building is 21.85 meters. So in the next segment, we shall consider other examples of angles of elevation and depression. Thank you very much for listening. You are welcome back to the second segment of today's class. So question two. The angle of elevation of the top of a tree from a point 27 meters away on the same horizontal ground as the foot of the tree is 30 degrees. Find the height of the tree. Solution. From the question here, you can see that we have, we have been given the angle of elevation of the top of the tree from a point which is 27 meters away and on the same horizontal ground as the foot of the tree as what 30 degree so we want to find the height you can just use a vertical line to represent the tree and put h as its height we have been made to realize that the distance between the top of the tree and that point on the ground is 27 meters. So from that we can see that we have formed a triangle in which the hypotenuse is 27 meters and the opposite is our height. Using our principle of trig ratios, we have that sine 30 degree equals h over 27. So h equals 27 sine 30 and h is 27 times 0 0.5 so h is 13.5 centimeters so the height of the tree is therefore 13.5 centimeter now question tv a stationary boat is observed from a height of 100 meters if the horizontal distance between the observer and the boat is 80 meters Calculate correct to two decimal places the angle of depression of the boat from the point of observation. Solution. In this case, they have given us an observer is on a height. Use a vertical line to depict that height and put the observer at the top. Height of what? 100 meters and we have also been given we have also been given the horizontal distance between the boat and the observer as 80 meters so that is a horizontal line we have to find the angle of depression of the boat from the observer don't forget from my explanation earlier that the angle of depression of the boat from the observer will still be the same as the angle of elevation of the observer from the boat so use theta to represent that then we can see that we have a right angled triangle and the angle in it is theta the opposite is 100 meters and the adjacent is 80 meters then using tan, we have tan theta equals 100 over 80. So tan theta equals 1.25. Then theta equals arctan 1.25. So theta equals 51.34 degree. Hence, the angle of depression of the boat from the observer is 51.34 degrees let us quickly move to the concept of bearing bearing means 
location of points on the surface of the head. Majorly, we have two methods of locating our bearing. The first one is the three digit bearing, while the second one is the compass bearing. In three digit bearing, we are concerned about three digits and our reading must always be in reference to the knot and in a clockwise manner. I have some examples here to depict the definition I have given. In the next segment, we shall continue from there. Thank you very much. Welcome back to the third segment. How to identify your starting point in a bearing. This is simply talking about reference points. How do we identify our reference point? A very good example to explain a reference point can be taken from the direction segment in the invitation card. We often receive anytime we are invited to a party or an event. We realize that there is a place for direction. And there are so many ways of writing that direction. Here I will give us some. We can have in the direction segment from beggar, board a bus to Obalinde. Another one can have it as board a bus to Obalinde from beggar. What the two are informing us in that is that before we can get to Obalinde, we must get to beggar first. So that beggar that we must get to first is like our starting point. And it is what we mean by the reference point. So let us use some examples to illustrate this. Questions. One, the bearing of Ade from Kunle is 060 degree. Find the bearing of Kunle from Ade. Solution. The 060 degree that you can see there actually means 60 degrees. But because, because we must have it in TV figures, so it means we need to add one more zero any time we have two digits. You add it before the number 060 degree, 070 degree, and so on. That is why we have 06 degree, 060 degree. Now, the next thing is, how do I identify our reference point here? From what we have said earlier, it means immediately after the preposition from, we see our reference point. So it is the noun or pronoun that follows the preposition from. So here I have from Kunle. So Kunle is my reference point. I need to identify Kunle first. Just go to the middle of your notes and put a point to represent Kunle. On that point, draw your four cardinal points. North, South, West, and East. So we are locating angle 60 degrees. Don't forget that in three digit bearing, you must always start our reading from the north and you move in a clockwise manner. By the time we are moving from the north, we need 60 degrees. It means it will not get up to the east because between the north and the east is 90 degrees. So 60 degrees is just before. So identify where you have 60 degrees and draw the line from the point representing only. It means it will go up. So on any point on that line, we can have our ID. But assuming we are given a measurement for the distance, then you will need to measure it. But this is still all about uh, sketch. So it means our idea will be on any point on the line. Then, when you get to idea, draw your four cardinal point there. 
So the question being asked now is that what is the bearing of only from Adi? It means our reference now is Adi. So you go to Adi and you read from the north of Adi in a clockwise manner up to the line that is going to Kunle. If you look at that, it means that you pass the east, pass the south. Immediately after the south is where you have the line going to Kunle. So from the north and south, from the north and, and south, we have 180 degree. That is north to the south, 180 degree. So what do we now have to it? We had a small angle between the south of Adi and the line going to Kunle. But from what we have learned before, we have what we call alternate angle, the Z angle. The angle between the south of Adi and the line going to Kunle will be the same as the angle between the north of Kunle and the line going to Adi. So it means that will be 60 degrees, 0, 060 0 degree. The bearing of Kunle from Adi will now be 180 plus 0, 060 0 degree, which is equal to 240 degrees. So it means the bearing of Kunle from Ade is 240 degrees. I have some assignments here for us. Question 1. From the top of a vertical cliff, 20 meter high, a boat at sea can be sighted 75 meters away and on the same horizontal position as the foot of the cliff, calculate correct to the nearest degree the angle of depression of the boat from the top of the cliff. 2. The bearing of Y from X is 120 degrees. Find the bearing of X from Y. So other questions are Y.